Good morning, friends, and welcome to Thursday, October 28th. Our baker starts us off with Just a Closer Walk with Thee. Thursday's devotion is found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by Charity Carigra. Our scripture is Ruth 1, 1 through 6. In the days when judges ruled, there was a famine in the land, and a certain man of Bethlehem and Judah went to live in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. And the name of the man was Elmelech, and the name of his wife, Naomi. And the names of his two sons were Malan and Chilion, and they were Ephraites from Bethlehem and Judah. They went into the country of Moab and remained there, but Emelech, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons. And these took Moab whites. Moabite wives. The name of the one was Orpah, and the name of the other, Ruth. When they had lived there about ten years, both Malan and Chilion also died, so that the woman was left without her two sons and her husband. And then she started to return with her daughters-in-law from the country of Moab, for she had heard in the country of Moab that the Lord had considered his people and had given them food. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Abimelech, his wife Naomi, and their two sons go to live in Moab. Actually, they're escaping death in the form of famine because there's food in Moab while there is none in Judah. But in time, Naomi's husband dies, followed by her two sons. And Moab becomes a land of the dead for her. A dead husband, dead sons, and a dead god called Chemosh. Even her relationship with her daughter-in-laws. Ruth and Orpha appears dead as the two younger women are expected to stay in Moab while Naomi plans to return to Judah. In the meantime, Naomi hears that the famine in Judah is over. God has visited God's people. Naomi chooses not to continue living in the land of the dead. She chooses to leave behind what she cannot resurrect and instead to focus on and head for a fresh start. She chooses to embrace the new reality of her life. She sets out on the road that will bring her back to Judah where there is a fresh promise of God's provision. We, too, experience death in many different situations, the death of a loved one or the disruption of a cherished relationship, the end of a once satisfying career, a betrayal by someone we once trusted. However much we loved or were attached to anything or any person, they are no more. Choosing to cling to it will only cause us to lose our zeal, perhaps eventually even our desire to go on living. It is wise to choose to embrace the new reality and move past what we cannot resurrect. As Paul reminds us, 
Forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead, I press on. Let us pray. Help us, Lord, to leave behind what we cannot resurrect. In your name we pray. Amen. Our closing hymn is Be Thou My Vision, verse 2. Sings to you all.